We have just successfully wrapped up our first season. Now, we're preparing something new. And this one is about you. We're going to be talking about life, spirituality, love, romantic connections, and anything under the sun. Now, are you ready for your life to change? Join me there. Hi Libras, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Um, first off, did you get your ticket? Not from the cop. No, for the meetup. Okay, so make sure you've already gotten your ticket. It's gonna be amazing. We'll be having so much fun. There's giveaways. It's gonna be in Los Angeles, and of course, we'll we'll bring the house down. Okay, so expect the unexpected. Um, and I'll be talking about um soon because it's connected with the Feeling Sisters with Sal in the other channel. So make sure you're also there because that's where in connection is. Meaning it's gonna be launch on that day also. Amazing, love it. Let's begin. Okay. Oh, we're gonna start first with the Oracle deck. Okay, girl deck. The very first one. I believe we are on second uh, printing of this. So make sure you check it out. Okay. This is the girl deck. This is my very first one. Okay. And I will be announcing soon um, projects in the Feeling Sisters where we're all gonna be part of. It's amazing. Okay. Let me see here. No, it's not an iPhone. Simply amazing. Is it Samsung? I think that's Samsung. <laughs> Sorry, because <laughs> iPhone is the next best thing besides your soulmate. Yes, <laughs> soulmate, the next best thing. I think that's supposed to be, right? <laughs> so let's see here. Too early for shade, Sal. Loving this Libra. We know. Okay, it's not knowing your purpose. It's living your purpose. Ask yourself, what is your purpose? Okay, look into the mirror. Okay, and break the rules. This is what it is. Break the rules um, and, you know, and start, um, how to say this, uh, the, somewhat similar to Gemini, because this is like living to, your, um, to who you are, okay? So let's just say, for example, today I'm a reader, okay? So today I'm a reader. On the weekend, you don't know, know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> this hair pays for the bills on the weekend. No kidding. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, it's about, you know, it's like committing for the day only um, and so that you don't get frustrated. Um, because even though you know, it's like, oh, I did load. Okay. Even though that you know your purpose, if you're not committed to it, you would feel lost. And this is when I created this deck. I was I, I had this list of who I should be and what I should be. And then, you know what? I threw it in the trash. And just, I owned that day. And this, that's when I started the channel. There it is. Because I was a baker and I love being a baker. But then I found out that my purpose is beyond that. There you go. Let's begin your tarot, Libra, okay? So let's see what's going on. What's up with my Libra? Okay, I have to angle myself here. Okay, let's see here. So how is it coming in, okay, to the first two weeks of November? This is your weekly, right? Um, it's still going to be, it's still at Libra season. We haven't stepped into Scorpio. Um, there, there are probably a lot of the secrets that you have found out. More of like awakening kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, there's going to be a lot of expenses that might come out also. Mm -hmm. See, it's still Libra season. First card, justice, like what I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Justice as a first card is like you trying to make everybody okay and every, everything civil. Let's compromise, you know, it's like, let, I'll do this for you. And then, you know, this energy is about, okay, if you do this for me, I'll do this. Uh, you know, it's like, it's a merchant. Okay. So an even exchange, um, justice card. Um, meaning you want things to be just right. Okay. You want things, oh, sorry, let me just silence this. I'm pretty sure my phone is not silent. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that you stepping up, and this is your first card, it's strongest, it's you. You stepping up to the plate, okay, with the truth, armed with the truth. And then this is your decision, okay, this is your intuition also. Because you want, okay, this karma between you and this person to be resolved. It's more of um, really knowing the purpose of the connection. Because that veil over there, that's your karma. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to understand the connection, the relationship, the partnership that you guys have, okay, with the justice card. 
Okay, and let's see here. Mm -hmm. Judgment, yep. So, you could be filing for divorce, just saying. <laughs> Judgment with a justice card. You can be filing for separation, okay, or this person is going to be um, also um, doing that or considering it. Um, this is looking now at the pros and cons, what's in the table, what's the next step, okay? Are we going to go get married? Are we, are we going to get to something serious? Because this is you cleansing now. Judgment is everything that has to be cleansed and removed. Because you guys cannot go through what's next, what's after, you know, without answering this. Normally, these are road blockage in the connection. Not like a tower moment, but things that has been put aside. It's going to be put into your face right now with regards to the connection so that you guys can move forward. Okay? This is like, for example, it's like, well, we haven't really talked. We're not like... You know, as far as like who we are and what what's our future plans, this is that this is that time. You're realizing it's just like it's time for us to talk. It's time for us to make the decision. It's time for us to um, express each other's feelings even for even further. This is also a time where you're considering either to reconcile in this person because it's all about trying to work it out. Yes, trying to work it out. Three of Pentacles, which is good. You see that this connection can be built, okay? So for you, it's like, okay, we're, we're not going to give up on this. Let's work on this partnership. Oh, I forgot also. Check out when it's when it's you, it hits you, okay? That's the other new um, show that we have, so check it out. Um, with the Three of Pentacles, you know that th this connection has a lot of, um, you know, it's like quirks and knickknacks, basically, that you, that you need to, or you can, okay, resolve. So you're not giving up on this. Having a three of pentacles. It's not for you to give up right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. The other person can be, you know, it's like, you know, they're far from you. Um, but if not, they're basically just saying here that the three of pentacles shows that they do have um, the same idea ideology as you are. Because the three of wands is their expectation. They have high expectations that if you guys have separated, just saying, you guys can still work it out. Because that's a, that's a three of pentacles right there. This is waiting for the relationship, man. Mm -hmm. Three of wands. Waiting for something positive from you. And this person, chances are they're really just waiting for your... You're the one in charge here. You're the one on call. So as you move now, meaning can also be relocating with the three of wands here someone can be looking at the brighter future in another place in another state and that's where you're putting your energies also page of pentacles okay so something stable that you want to offer here um the page of pentacles also shows um that you want this commitment to grow okay and you're willing to learn you're willing to study you're willing basically to explore okay because the pages are um, how to say this, inquisitive, to explore every option for this thing to work. So you're very diplomatic here. Okay? Very, very diplomatic. And this is also even you. You could be saying apology here. I like that the justice card was the first one because this is just making it right. Mm -hmm. Like, let's make it right. Let's build it the right way. You understand each other, then you guys can move forward. Yes? That's a page of Pentacles. Now, as the as both of you here, oh, see, that's good. Seize the connection. That's a three of ones right there. Ah, that's the judgment card with the three of ones. This you guys see the connection, the potential, like what I mentioned, for things to go right. Okay, there has been some situation, of course, with the wheel of fortune. Even though you guys are fated, okay, um, you felt like you get you couldn't handle it. There are some purging that has happened over here. Again, this is long distance right here. The judgment with the Wheel of Fortune, this comes in perfect timing. Some Someone here is acting on, on faith, meaning um, they believe that this is the time for uh, to make this uh, um, discussion or talk or conversation. Yes? Ace of Wands, which is what the other person is waiting for. A beginning. Look at that. Yeah? They want this opportunity with you. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're doing the right thing, Libra. 
Knight of Pentacles. And your approach here is very, um, you know, it's like if it's Taurus, like it's very solid, okay? You want to see the logic, you want to see the process. Smelling like a reconciliation. If not, this is about you when you offer this. Both of you will be happy. You have three threes over here. I don't sense third party, of course. I sense more of learning to be happy and trying to give it to the other person. Yep, and four of wands, like what I mentioned. Mm. You see that? A new beginning. The potential is here. Big time, right here. Big time! Okay. Having the four of wands, fated event will bring you guys together. And this is a celebration. This can be engagement even. And the lover's card. Look at that one. Mm -hmm. Very, very positive right here. And as your last card, okay, what did, where did that come from? Okay. Now, of course, we know where the Eight of Cups come from. That's why you guys have the Judgment and Three of Cups. Someone who has walked away. You could be convincing them or they could be convincing you right now with a Page of Pentacles. But it's not for you to convince. It's just for you to learn right now that the foundation of the relationship when they left you wasn't really secure. Okay? And hence, this person will come back towards you because they will they know now who is their happiness. And this is where everything lines up. They walked away from you even though they love you. You know, this person loves you. I understand that. But now they're looking forward for a new beginning with you. Okay? So, very, very exciting. Link down there in the description box for the extended reading. Everything is down there. The other channel, the, what else? Um, the tickets. Also, again, stay tuned for the, um, how to say this? When it's you, it hits you. Okay? So, that's a new, new um, program that we have. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Libra, and week also. I'll see you guys again. Bye.